Kunal, I'm sure uh, you must be equally enthused by the way the markets have moved up, reaching that mega milestone of 50k for the Sensex. Tell us how you're reading into uh, the chart for uh, the benchmark index and if you could also give us your picks for the day. So good morning, uh, Karunya. I think it's a fabulous uh, day for the uh, markets and for all of us because I think uh, you know climbing the mount 50k took a lot of toil. Uh, you know the last one year has been extremely tough for uh, you know uh, I would say overall for for the globe. But I think uh, you know the fact that uh, you know the uh, Sensex has cleared this 50,000 mark. I think it just about gives a lot of confidence and cheers to a uh, you know, lot of global investors as well as local investors. So. I think congratulations to all the viewers and all the bulls who have been consistently bullish on uh, you know the indices. Talking about the near term charts, I think it's again a, you know, one of the routine days for the index which you've seen today, 100 points plus on the Nifty, 200 plus points on the Bank Nifty and a very strong recovery uh, overall you know, from that Monday sell off or I would say marginal correction uh, you know, which we had seen. You know, it's again a reinstating of the fact that uh, you know, the indices are into a strong uptrend and you know, corrections have just lasted for max a couple of days, not more. So I think that's how you can probably summarize the strong bullish uptrend which you've seen. Uh, in terms of specific names, I think there are now you know, a couple of stocks which are inching towards breakout. So it's a mix of uh, you know large cap and mid cap names. The two stocks which I'm suggesting as a buyer, first one is EID Parry. Uh, again, a very interesting chart. In fact, in the morning show as well, and given a buy call on EID Parry, the stock is already up some four and a half, five, five percent odd. But I think it's now completing a very strong bullish, uh, you know, triangular pattern breakout, and it's an exceedingly strong chart because when you look at it on the slightly longer term time scale as well, there are uh, you know multiple bullish patterns which are getting broken out. So both on the short term time scale as well as the long term time scale, I would believe uh, EID Parry should do exceptionally well for itself. Uh, so I'm expecting uh, you know the stock to move up significantly higher from current levels. A positional call, uh, targets of 400 and stoppers to be kept at 340. The second is about Tata Chemicals. It's very, very interesting because it's again one of the few Tata group of stocks which has done remarkably well uh, other than Tata Motors and Tata Consumers etc. But when you look at the charts for Tata uh, Chemicals as well, it's completing now a bullish flag pattern on the daily charts. You know, the, the momentum into the stock is uh, exceedingly high. We've seen very strong option activity as well. For Tata Chemicals. So on all of those fronts, it indicates that the stock is, uh, you know, now raring to go and uh, you know, maybe cross even that 580 to 600 mark as well. So again, a positional play, a buy on Tata Chemicals for a target of 600, and stop us to be kept at 525. Two very uh, high pedigree management stocks from Kunal, EID Parry, of course, and then uh, Tata Chemical. Ashish, good morning. On this historic day, uh, what calls do you have for our viewers? Yeah, a couple of A calls uh, which I am having. Uh, both companies are starting from A. Uh, my first stock is uh, Apollo Tires. Uh, I'm very bullish on uh, tires stock per se because uh, whatever the import was happening by global players, it's not happening now because of anti dumping and other issues. So, domestic tire companies are going to uh, really do well. So Apollo Tires being a leader in uh, replacement market uh, will continue to thrive uh, in many more quarters to come. And uh, I'm expecting that uh, in this quarter also, uh, once numbers will come, uh, we are expecting very decent growth in Apollo Tires. So this is the reason uh, all tires are stocks are getting re-rated and Apollo is one of the best bet uh, in my view here because they are present in OEM segment as well as uh, in replacement market. I'm expecting 225 crore pet also in um, this quarter from Apollo Tire. So this is a good buy uh, from here. Another low risk idea which I like is Ashok Leland. In my view, the way the kind of momentum that we have seen in uh, Tata Motors, uh, Ashok Leland is still uh, to do a lot of catch up, and uh, the kind of growth they are uh, they are showing in uh, the last few uh, months, uh, and particularly in uh, LCV segment. And, uh, uh, this phenomenon. So Ashok Leland is going to be uh, uh, by uh, and I'm expecting a 20% kind of upside in the next six months.